Good day kids! Today, our topic is all about mixtures and their characteristics. But before we proceed on our topic, let's have first a review about matter. Take a look on the slide and identify the objects that belongs to the different forms of matter. We have solid, liquid, and gas. Now, let's find out if your answers are correct. Rock and ice cubes are solid. Milk and water are liquid. LPG and air inside the balloon are gases. Solid, liquid, and gas are the three phases of matter. How do we define matter? Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. It means everything around you is matter. Your body is made up of matter. The air that you breathe is matter. The water that you drink and use for cleaning is matter. Any object that you use daily, anything that you see, and even what you do not see is matter. In fact, everything in the universe itself is made up of matter. Matter is divided into two physical methods. We have mixtures and pure substances. In science, quarter one, we are going to discuss all about mixtures. Let's have an activity. What is ham and cheese sandwich made of? Ham and cheese sandwich is made of bread, mayonnaise, cheese, and ham. What is a cup of coffee made of? A cup of coffee is made of water, sugar, and coffee. What did you do to the different materials to create ham and cheese sandwich? How about a cup of coffee? When you mix or combine different materials, we call it as mixture. Mixture is a combination of two or more substances that are not chemically combined. In our activity, we prepared some mixtures. The ham and cheese sandwich was formed by combining the ham, cheese, mayonnaise, and bread. A cup of coffee was formed by combining water, sugar, and coffee. A mixture can come in any form. It may be solid, liquid, or in gaseous form. Fruit salad, 3-in-1 coffee powder, chicken breading, and mixed gravel are examples of solid mixtures. Your fruit juice drink, hot coffee, hot chocolate drink, and hot milk are liquid mixtures. Air is a gaseous mixture. Air is made up of 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and only 1% are other gases such as argon and carbon dioxide. Let's have a short activity about mixture. In activity 1, we are going to use Probex or predict, observe, and explain. Here are the different materials. Mixtures of sugar and water and oil and water. What will happen to sugar if we mix it to the water? What will happen to oil if we mix it in water?
Let us find out by watching the video. Explain, what is the difference between the appearance of the two activities? There is no changes in the appearance of the mixture in activity A, while in activity B, two layers of liquid were observed. In activity A, the sugar were completely dissolved in water. It is not visible and seem to have disappeared. You cannot recognize if there are sugar added to the water because it does not change its appearance. In activity B, the relayers form separating oil from water. It means that oil is immiscible or unmixable to water. The two activities are both examples of mixtures. Mixtures is divided into two. The homogeneous mixture or the uniform mixture and the heterogeneous mixture or the non-uniform mixture. In activity A, the sugar dissolves completely in water is an example of homogeneous mixture. In activity B, which is the oil is visible or recognizable when mix it in water is an example of heterogeneous mixture. Let us now define the two classifications of mixture. Homogeneous mixture. Uniform or homogeneous mixture are mixtures that have substances that cannot distinguish because solutes completely dissolve in the solvent. In the activity, the sugar is the solute and the water is the solvent. Water is considered as the universal solvent. When you mix sugar and water, you cannot see the components separately because the sugar completely dissolves in water. The particles of sugar seem to have disappeared and the mixture appears to be just one substance. 
the characteristics of sugar are evenly distributed throughout the mixture. Here are some examples. Heterogeneous mixture. Non-uniform or heterogeneous mixture are mixtures that have components which can be identified immediately. The mixture of gravel and water is a heterogeneous mixture. You can easily distinguish the gravel from the water. The mixture of oil and water is another example. The oil is seen on top of the water. Your favorite fruit salad, vegetable salad, and halo halo are examples of heterogeneous mixtures. Take a look on the given examples. Let's try it out. Name some homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture can be found at home. Classify the pictures if it is homogeneous or heterogeneous mixture.
A mixture is a combination of two or more physical materials, such as a solid, liquid, and gas materials. When the chemical system of a mixture has the same appearance and properties, it is called homogeneous. When the chemical system of a mixture has non-uniform appearance and different phases can be recognized, it is called heterogeneous.